Good Monday morning, Bible men. It's good to be with you on your Monday and again, always in the beginning of your work week. You know, we're going to start a new teaching series, a new uh, series in which we're going to call Roadmaps, Roadmaps to the Kingdom of Heaven. In the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 5, as we find in the very beginning of, those, of that uh, chapter, the Beatitudes. And that's a place what they call the famous Sermon on the Mount. I was actually there on the Sermon on the Mount, and I want you to think with me just a second. It was a hillside where Jesus had started um, speaking to his disciples. And as he was speaking, more and more people came. The crowds gathered and gathered to hear what Jesus had to say. It's probably one of the, when I, when I think about it for a moment, I try to think about what it must have been like to be in that place and time. I think about when Jesus was there and speaking to the people. And he had such great compassion because that's why he came. But in the very beginning, Matthew chapter 5, we're going to, start, we're going to talk about the first one. But first, let's get, a, let's get a beginning. It says this. One day, as he saw the crowds gathering, Jesus went up to the mountain and he sat down. His disciples gathered around him and he began to teach them. Now, literally, a mountain in Israel is not necessarily a mountain. It's really a big hill. And it has a lot of grass area. And they think, well, every time you go into uh, Israel, I've been there on, on two different occasions, on two trips. And they say, this is where we think this was the location. And on that location, there's always a church and there's always a lot of people and buses. But I try to sit there at the time and think about what it must have been like in that moment for Jesus to speak. And then he goes on and he says this. He starts telling this. And the reason why I'm calling it Roadmaps is because literally Jesus was saying these are the people groups that if you look for, when you look for these people groups, you will find me. And in that becomes the map. Well, in the very first one, he says this. He says, God blesses those who are poor and realize their need of him. For the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Now, there's two types of poor as I look at this, one is literally poor. People who are economically, of things are, are difficult in their life. And man, I tell you what, we're living in such a time as this when changes are happening and there's just a not enough dollar to go to stretch to the end of the day and I'm finding more and more people struggling financially due to the fact of the high cost of between traveling, gasoline, uh, food, uh, everything that goes on to live life. And people are becoming more and more struggling to make ends meet at the end of the day. And when I see this, I think about the poor. I think it's time for, it gives us opportunities for those to share how God has gifted us and to be welcoming to people and to help them along their journey. I hope today that you get an opportunity that maybe there's somebody out there that you can simply, maybe something as simple as buy them a cup of coffee or get them up get them a Coke or something that could be just a simple gesture. I also too, when I think about this, not only is Jesus talking about the poor, but he's also talking about those who are poor spiritually, poor is that are in need of him, poor in, in such a way of needing to find a way of salvation. I had an opportunity to speak to a young man. He's, a, he's one of our local police officers in our area. And he was sharing with me that in a matter of a month, he's, a month he's going to be shipped over to Ukraine and he's going to be on the Polish border to guard um, in case there's a potential invasion of uh, Russia going into Poland. And when he was sharing with me about that and what he was doing, all the things he was getting ready, about what he was doing to uh, physically all the different uh, regiments that they have to do in the military. And I looked at him after he had shared all this and he said, there's another thing that's ever bit, if not more, greater than what you shared with me. And I said, how is your heart with the Lord? Are you ready? If something would come down and something would change, your life would end, are you ready? And I really appreciated what the young man did. The young man, he looked at me, he said, yes, sir, my heart is ready. I'm ready to do what I need to do. And you know, we get those moments, again, we get the literally, blessed, blessed are those that are poor, but also too, I think those that are poor in spirit. So men, I encourage you this, always be ready for the gospel story. 
always be ready to bring the good news of the gospel to men. We are in need of men to stand and to be willing to be called themselves sons, disciples of the living God, Jesus. I hope today that is your call. Bye, old man. I hope you have a great week, and we'll look forward to talking again about roadmaps. And in the roadmaps, you find people groups, and in that, you'll find Jesus. Bye, old man. Have a great day.